run of the day. What do we got? About 15 miles up to Wikiwachi, Florida. My paperwork says that I'm the last truck that's going to be there. So the pump may or may not be there. So we are doing a slab for a foundation for a brand new house. All right. Yeah, so it's kind of hard to like show everything that I do all day long. So I thought about it, I'm gonna have to break it up into like different videos. You know, for instance, like, you know, you know, what, what I'm doing at the end of the day, what I'm doing at a job, you know. It's kind of hard to like, throughout the day, it'd be like little clips of this, little clips of that, and all of a sudden your video is like, you know, 45 minutes long, so. I don't think anyone wants to sit around for 45 minutes, so. So we'll just kind of like, kind of today, just kind of just kind of go out throughout the day and just kind of see what's going down. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. We'll try to do a video about like what I'm working with over here and what kind of truck I'm in. I mean, obviously if you can kind of see it, you can kind of figure it out. Which is, I'm spoiled, man. I'm spoiled in this truck, man. So we'll go off, we'll just kind of go this load here. So we got 11 yards of 3,000 regular. It's like a, like a, I want to say a dense or a thicker rock. Oh, Monday morning accidents already. Anyway, so a 3,000 regular, just like a regular rock, you know, just, you know, foundations, you know, um, slabs, I guess they call them, and, uh, like the regular, the other trucks, like those front loaders I was driving before, they would only go 10 yards, since everything on this truck is just a little bit lighter, you know, they are able to haul 11 yards, which is nice. Because this this job that we're doing was a 55 yard job, you know, five trucks, 11 yards each. Boom. You know, if it had been the other other truck, you know, front loaders, it'd be five trucks at 10 yards, and one truck would have five yards. So, you know, and if 55 was enough, sometimes it's not enough. And they need like two or three more yards, so then somebody else would have to come all the way back with five more yards. Well, you know, what? a couple more yards. run but you know when we're loaded about you know I don't know the exact weight but they said it could be up to you know like this is the, the rock that we have right now is the heavier rock you know it could be up to depends on fuel and you know everything I and mean, it could be up to 72,000 pounds you know and there's a drop axle so when you're loaded Only good good thing is like around towns and stuff like this there's like they're right there no trucks there, there's signs everywhere no trucks no trucks but yeah I'm deemed local delivery so I can go anywhere so you know residentials and, you know as long as there's no low hanging lines <laughs> we're okay Get on down the road here. We're, we're watching Pale Riders Friday Night Live stream. We got like 13 miles to go, so we'll talk to you when we get there. Oh, and Snorlord. Still here at 
thank goodness. Yeah, these trucks don't take too long to unload. They keep the pump running while they're unloading. I mean, we can unload these 11 yards. I, mean, I personally, golly, uh, five to seven minutes and we can unload it, you know, if there's no break. Sometimes they got to stop and move and do stuff. But usually if it's just straight through, man, you're good to go. But me being the last truck now, that may not be the case. Like they always, you know, like they start at the back and move forward. So they got to keep moving the, you know, the chute on the pump closer to the truck or I'm sorry, closer to the road. <clears throat> so if the pump has to leave, it's easier for us to get in. So we're not having to like drive all around back, you know, just right up front and do our thing. Hopefully he'll be done soon. We'll see what happens. Well, like I said, the last truck's always, <coughs> always the longest. And which was odd, first thing in the morning, I got leftovers. So we'll dump that when we get back to the yard. I'll show you, show you all about that. We're just writing down my times. At the job, 7.35, begin pour, 8.01, started washing out at 8.54, it's now 9.08, so we'll just say 9.10, we're going to leave, and uh, how many gallons of water did I fill in there, what did I put about, we'll just say 20, alright, back to the yard we go. I'll be glad when I can show you everything up in here. It's pretty cool what this thing could do. You could do almost everything from right here. Except for the pump. You know, I mean, you could do all the controls from the pump, but and you can't really see it. You know, you got like the camera in the back, but yeah. They got everything that they have right here, they have in the back, which is cool. Do everything back there. Let's get on back to the yard, and I'll show you how we dump off our, uh, our left leftovers. And everything's recycled and reused. Good stuff. Let's get back to the yard. All right, we got our one, one shoot on. One of three shoots, actually. Watch out for Mr. Loader guy. Um, like in the old truck, we had four shoots. This one here has got three, which is nice. Somebody else already started a pile, or started a, a line, I should say. If you can see it in the mirror there. And here's our, our charge and discharge. Just kick it all the way back, put it in drive, just watch for it to Come on, we, I don't think I have too much. Maybe a couple yards. There it goes. it 
right there. Put it in neutral. Hit my brakes. Give some gas. Gonna go up and down with it a little bit. Try to whatever's left in there. It. All right, put it back in charge. Lift up our chute. Go to the washout area. We'll just give it a quick wash down. Put a little bit of water in the, in the drum and discharge it and spray it down make sure we don't make a don't want to leave a mess out here don't I'm sorry don't want to leave a mess on the truck so. and this is where we come here at the end of the day with like our final washout and usually throw about you know 60 to 70 gallons of water in the drum let it spin for a little while. Discharge and spray it down, wash it down, and you're done for the day. But this will just be a quick Bump of the dock. All right. Make sure I turn my uh, my remote PTO on so now I can control everything in the back. Turn the water on. Unlock the sh Bring it down. Give it a little bit of spin just for just a little bit. water see the water comes out right there when I let all the water out of the drum a lot of this is going to get washed down I made already. It's a constant, constant clean. same controls that's in the truck go down to discharge
is probably the worst part right here. This thing gets dirtiest. It's like a constant, constant, constant clean. See, there's still a little bit of dirt, you know, mud inside here. And if you stop, it's just going to ease on out. Spray down the drum, a little bit of leftovers. I don't have to go crazy. Bring the chute back up. Pull up and take the other shoot off and we'll get in line. Yeah, so see like my PTO is on. So like it's some kind of safety feature. See? Give it gas, nothing happens. You just gotta turn it off. Keep our shoots over here. Lock it in. Lock this. Yeah, a little bit of see over here just a little bit of a, a little bit of a mess super super thick one guy that runs the machine one guy that keeps spraying water one guy that keeps spreading oh man almost a total screw up there <laughs> epic fail so there's like one guy running the machine one guy bringing the mud down one guy keeps spraying water on the mud one guy keeps spreading it out another guy he just I don't know what he's doing then there's me. I'm, I keep moving forward when they tell me, when they want to shoot up or down, or when they tell me to you know, stop the drum. They seem to be going pretty quick, so. Move forward, just a little bit at a time. So they did 33 yards on the last truck of 11 yards.
seems like they came up this way and went to here and came up down and went down, turned around, got a little ways up and here I am. And I just go until we run out. Come back tomorrow. Kind of a slow job, but you know, hey, it's a good job to have at the end of the day, that's for sure. Yeah, they're spraying more water on it. At least they're not wanting me to stop the drum, so it's just like a steady flow. Stinks. I can't see where the mud's coming out. And it's got to rely on these guys, so we're just going to sit here and finish the day out and bring them back to the yard. Hopefully, try to get some more videos out of like what we're actually doing. You know, like at the end of the day and different jobs. I mean, this is kind of a, for sure, it's a different one, but, you know, hopefully we can show some more. So, let me get out of here and finish this day. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.